In this video, we'll be demonstrating the wing lights double wall bounce feature, double wall ceiling bounce feature, versus two studio soft boxes and two studio umbrellas. Uh, a lot of people email me and ask me, well, you know, you're not always going to have two white walls and white ceilings to bounce off of. And I'd always tell them, well, you're not always going to have the convenience of two giant soft boxes or two studio umbrellas to bring along with you everywhere you go. And that's one of the key main factors that makes a wing light so portable, compact, and versatile. Uh, first, I'm going to take a picture um, with these two constant lights off. Uh, the big ones will be turned off and we'll just have two light bulbs illuminating the, the room. Uh, I'm going to take a picture at uh, f2.8. Shutter 1 60th, ISO 320. I'm shooting in manual. Auto white balance, and I'm going to take a shot just to show that the constant lights that we have right now are not going to influence the outcome of our demonstration. And as you can see here, with the exact same settings, it's complete darkness. And that just shows that the ambient light is not going to affect the outcome of our experiment whether in higher apertures or lower ISOs. And I just turned on my flash. I'm at one, one, uh, one, one full power manual. And I have both wings off. So what happens is light's gonna bounce on that wall, light's gonna bounce on that wall, and that creates a giant soft box effect. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Again, I'm using the same settings, 160 of a second, f2.8, ISO 320, and you can see in the image, she's very evenly lit. There are no shadows around her. And I'm going to take another photo with my wings on. And what the wing does is that uh, it sends light from the two wings itself to the subject and also sends light uh, from these two walls because some little light escaped from the wings a little bit of light escapes from this wing and it bounces off that wall and that wall and I have it aimed up so the rest of the light goes into the ceiling bounces back down on the subject and the rest of the light will escape from the two wings onto the subject and we have about five different light sources Again, we're using the same settings, and we will see what that looks like. And there you have it. Uh, 160 of a second, f2.8, ISO 320. And you can see there's a nice, evenly lit subject. She has very little shadows, a little bit of shadow underneath the chin, and that's what we're going for with this type of uh, setup. Um, and there are no shadows behind her, she's very evenly lit. Very similar to a double wall bounce, but a double wall bounce is more of this soft, uh, a softer light. The double wing wall ceiling bounce has more of a slightly harsher light, but you know, that's just up to the photographer and what he wants. Again, we're using the same settings, and now I'm gonna take a photograph uh, with my flash off. This thing's off. I'm gonna put this on the floor. And I'm going to turn on my stu two studio soft boxes right here. There you go, you can hear the beep. We have another one right here. You hear the beep. I'm using a PC sync cord to my camera to trigger these two flashes. The other one's triggered optically, uh, optical slave. And because of the power of these flashes, I'm changing my aperture to 5.6. And again, 5.6 makes it darker, so the ambient light's not going to affect our experiment. And we'll take another shot. I can unplug it. And this is what the image looks like. 160 of a second, 5.6, 320 ISO. And you can see very clearly, there are two shadows on each side of the subject. Same settings. 
at, but at 5.6 because of the power. And then you compare it to the wing light, there are no shadows behind her in either methods. Whether it was the wings off or on, there are no shadows beside her. But when you're using two soft boxes, you can see there's one shadow right there, one shadow right there. And now we're going to be testing uh, the wing light versus two uh, umbrellas. And we're going to just cut scene to it to save a little bit of time. Uh, but you'll see that we're only using two light sources. These two, um, these two uh, light bulbs right here are the only things illum illuminating us. And it's going to stay consistent. All right, in this segment, we are shooting a cutscene to the umbrellas. If you turn the camera around, take a look at the constant umbrellas. We're still using the same two light bulbs where we replace the soft boxes with two umbrellas, okay? And so now we're gonna do a shot with uh, my camera at 160 of a second, 5.6, 320 ISO. And we're gonna see how that looks compared to the wing light. Oh, got to plug in my optical slave and my PC sync cord. Okay, now we're going to take a shot and see how that looks. Okay. All right, as expected, it looks about the same as the soft boxes. So 160 of a second, 5.6, 320. And we zoom in. You'll see it looks very similar to the soft boxes. It's slightly darker than the soft boxes, actually. And this is soft boxes from before the ninth image. This is the tenth image. These are two umbrellas. And when you compare it to the wing light, obviously you don't have those two shadows behind her compared to the wing light. These two images. So this is double wall bounce wing light. There's no shadows anywhere. This is the ceiling bounce wing light. There is no. Uh, there are no shadows anywhere. Then these are the two soft boxes, two shadows on either side. This is the two umbrellas, two shadows on either side. Uh, now, of course, you know, uh, the wing light will never completely replace studio umbrellas or soft boxes because of the power. It's getting its power from a power outlet, 120 volts, compared to four double A batteries. So, but the wing light does outperform it in terms of light quality, uh, shadows, uh, in certain environments. Um, and again, uh, a lot of times people will say, well, you don't have these double walls, you know, two white walls or white ceiling. But I can always say, well, you're not gonna have two giant studio so umbrellas or soft boxes either. And that's, where the wing light really shines in its versatility and portability. Uh, and you can take it to weddings, you can take it to uh, different events, and it's compact where the wings are foldable um, in a way where you can bring it anywhere you need it to be. And that concludes uh, today's video on wing light versus studio soft boxes and studio umbrellas. Um, next time we're going to be doing uh, wing light advanced lighting techniques uh, such as a wall bounce, uh, double uh, wall, uh, ceiling and floor bounces, and a bunch of other cool stuff that we're going to be posting up soon. So stay tuned, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to our channel.